Okay, so I made a video just late in the holidays about doing some upgrades to Zeus and uh, just getting some things that I've been wanting to do over time done to the cart. Uh, got it all finished up. I shared a little bit of it, how the tires, I'm really in, impressed with them. And I really just like the whole, the whole setup. Uh, I also touched on getting a new lithium battery, replaced my Roy Pal 160. Um, there's a display that it comes with right here. Uh, I'm sure people like that their echo battery or whatever goes into the new icon dash, but I'm very happy with this, this setup right here because I get all the additional information without having to go into the Bluetooth app. Because what you can do is you can go through different pages. So, and I can see all my stats from my recent drive. And um, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, as you can see, I'm still 100%. I haven't driven the car in a couple days, but I mentioned uh, I wanted to see if anybody can guess the battery I bought. And some people thought it was this other brand because of that display. I think several companies are using that display. Um, but the battery I bought is Greener Power. Um, I gotta tell you, this thing has been amazing. I've messed with a lot of different lithium batteries. Most of the batteries, they're not of the big brands like Roy Pow, Echo. It's typically Chins, uh, you know, one of the orange batteries. Um, and I've referred those to several people. Typically you get them for about, I don't know, a thousand bucks. Sometimes you'll get it for seven ninety nine. dollars um, But, but the, the downfall to it, in my opinion, is, it's not a, there's nothing wrong with it. If you live in Florida, it's flat land. That battery does well for a lot of people. But I was looking to get something with a higher BMS, so I don't have to worry about it ever tripping and I can push my Navitas controller as hard as I want. And so I came across this battery, the specs were great, just as good as any of the big brands like Echo or Bolt. And um, I personally think the battery looks a lot like a certain brand. I'm not gonna get into that, but between that and the digital display, it looks like one of the bigger brands that sells for a lot more money than I bought this battery for. So this battery is on Amazon for $18.99. When I bought it, it was like a Christmas thing where they had 35% off, something like that. And so I think I paid $11.99, something like that, whatever the number was. But it was closer to $1,000. So you gotta remember, it comes with not just a mini charger uh, that you see with like a chin. So you can always buy like a better charger. They have different kits, but then you start getting back up to this $1,100 price range. Mine came with an awesome charger. Um, it comes with the display, as I mentioned. You don't have to do a bunch of bolting and, you know, setting up. I can't think of the name of that thing that you have to do when you get a chins. Um, but you have to connect to the electrical to make the display, the little battery gauge work that they gave you. And that some people just don't really want to mess with that. So this was easy. You just run it to the side over there and just run it under the cart and just stick it up over there. That's what I, that's where I put mine. Side note, I really love that they give you these little holes. Uh, some of the batteries do that. I, I love it because then I can just put a few holes on each side and I don't have to ever worry about it shifting. I put mine on the right side because if I drive by myself, then the weight kind of evens out a little bit. And, and maybe I can put something over here, a little storage. But um, yeah, I, I can't say enough about this battery. Here, here's the thing. I've... I know what I can do with my Navitas controller and I'll literally watch the Roy Pal. It, it doesn't BMS out on me. I've, I've always told you all that I've only had that happen once with a trailer connected, but I can set the settings too high in the Navitas and it literally just won't go anywhere as if it just, it just can't. And I know that's something to do with the BMS. So when I tell you I have this Navitas floored, like I've worked with their engineers and everything, I've, I'm giving it everything it can take. Anything, any echo battery, any bolt battery, this is higher than I'm, the way I'm running it right now. And I have pushed it to the limits. I've taken eight people. Like, I'm telling you, this battery is great. And for the price, but it, you know, nobody's going to like this, especially dealers, because I know they have their arrangements. And then people say, you know, Icon's official battery is echo and all that stuff. 
I remember when you, when Icon was telling people you can't even put lithium in their carts. That's what they were telling people. I, I'll never forget it because I live in Florida. I called Tampa where they were at. And they literally told me when I was in, inquiring about, you can't put lithium in our carts. Do you know how crazy that sounds? So that's why I make these videos to help people. You know, I see people online, they're looking into like an Echo and look, I'm sure they're great batteries. I guarantee that they're not built any better than this battery. And they would say their customer service is second to none. Everything I've done with this battery, and I'm not a dealer. I'm not anything special to these people. I bought this battery. They have answered me within 24 hours anytime I ask a question, anytime. And to me, that's good enough. You can say, well, you can call Echo anytime when it's the phone. Okay, great. But these people are getting back to me, answering any question I've had, just when I'm in inquiring about the display or anything. They get back to you. That's what I need. I need a company that I know I'm not just buying some knockoff brand. I they obviously put good intention into making a, a performance battery and it shows the cart runs amazing and i it will stay at the top of my list of of the battery to buy until i don't know i come across a budget battery that's better than this one because technically this is a budget battery because the discount i'm talking about i remember i said i was reaching out to them i told them that i make i'm making videos and stuff that i do that and I asked, I told them how much I paid for the battery and they gave me a link to where you'll get the same price. So that's the link that I put in my description. So you guys are welcome to use it. And the reason this is important to me, I'm just going to tell you, I don't have a dog in the room. I don't care. I had a lithium battery already. I want to make the most of my Navitas controller that I paid for, of course. But it's just really hard for me to hear people out there, they have families, and whether they're rich or poor, and they're, they feel like if they don't buy Echo, they're just, oh my goodness, the, or, or, or both. It's just my, my world's gonna, it's just not, I'm never gonna be comfortable with this cart. And I know so many people that have been happy with just, even just the chins, and they're not riding their cart the way I do though. So if you want the in-between and you wanna feel better about it and maybe spend a couple hundred dollars more, get a greener power. This is the 105 amp hour. They don't make a bigger battery right now. I have the i60L. I drive quite a bit and I've still, once again, never run it down. Um, some people would say you have to have the bigger battery for a 160. I guess if you play two rounds of golf a day, maybe maybe that's you. But for me, I never get close. To, and, and I thought maybe, because I came from a 160 in the Roy Pal, I thought maybe I'd miss it a little bit. I rarely got down three or four bars out of 10 in that battery. So in this cart, I might run it down to half and that's on the longest trip I'll make. So I, I'm totally comfortable with it. So I think it's been great. I wanted to make sure I shared what battery I did put in if anybody really wanted to know. And I, I hope it helps somebody with trying to make a decision on this because at that price and they give you a five year warranty, I think you can't lose in my opinion if you're on the fence because I'm not sure. I think Echo is like $2,400, something like that. Now, the only thing that would, I would maybe change, yeah, I would refer to a friend, he's a dealer, he, he told me that 72 volt really is different, he's, he's experienced it, he's had it in his carts, and I'm very, very interested in 72 volt. I told Greener Power, I need to make a 72 volt, a budget 72 volt. Doesn't mean to be a budget battery, but price-wise needs to be budget. And they said they're going to look into it, so, and right now they think that 48 volt's the, the safest, best way to go, and that's what they're concentrating on, but... I am happy with these, this battery. If you're not, you know, if, if for some reason you don't like it, it is what it is. I'm just sharing because I had been searching for a battery that would give me the performance that I could max out my Davidas, but I wasn't going to spend the crazy amount for just the brand name. With all that said, I also wanted to tell you I am upgrading my motor to the Navitas motor. This cart has the it has the this has the four kilowatt motor not the five kilowatt like a lot of the newer icons do mine's like a 21 2021 uh, cart so i already have the controller of course i've had that for a couple of years so what i'm gonna do is i've got the motor it's over here it's ready to go i'm gonna get it installed i think this week and I will make a follow-up video to this because I want to show that I can truly max out 
this battery, I know what I'm doing now, it proves the point. Um, I can't raise the specs any higher in the Navitas app. And, but with this new motor, I think it's gonna give me a little more kick. That's what I really want. I wanna max out the whole Navitas controller with the best I can do. And so I talked to Navitas and uh, they helped me find the exact motor I need for my car. And so it's here and I'm gonna get it installed and I think that'll be a nice follow-up video to show you guys exactly how the performance is. So anyhow, probably a boring video, but I wanted to make sure I shared it with you all because I am genuinely, genuinely excited about it. I think it's uh, could be good for a lot of people, not just me. And I'm glad they shared the discount code. It might help you with people that are kind of in between. They don't want to buy the very budget battery, but they don't want to spend the money on the big brand. To me, this is uh, a win going right between there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.